Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again, and to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high-functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stanley did. There, I am going to introduce three characters and one creature to you guys in this video, and I hope there aren't any inconsistencies that would be an interference on your behalf, and I apologize if so. The first one I'm going to introduce is a character known as Value, and if you guys bear with me, I will read the data sheet for this character. Value. Real name, Mariah Midas. Height, 5 feet 10 inches. Weight, 148 pounds. Status, hero, and richest person in the Leviathan universe. Base, default Earth, mobile. Intelligence, three brains. Behavior, innocent and willful. She's an expert at preventing poverty. Lethality, only when threatened or during a fight. Weaknesses, she is lacking in a healing factor. Powers, she possesses the golden touch, which she can use to turn anything into solid gold. She is also good at hiding. Eyes, goldish brown, hair, goldish red, and wavy. Origin. Mariah Midas was a high school graduate when she learned that she's the descendant of the legendary King Midas. Soon, the tyrannical Wrath appeared to Mariah and granted her with the same power as her ancestor. Unfortunately, Mariah found that she couldn't really control her new power until Goddess finally arrived and gave her the ability to disable it whenever it's needed. Outraged of this outcome, Wrath condemned Mar Mariah into having the ears of a donkey, just like her legendary ancestor. Despite that, she now goes by the name Value, and is the richest person in the Leviathan universe, hoping to end all poverty in the process. Costume she simply wears nothing official, which means no clothes in particular. She just wears whatever she feels like wearing. Teams, solitary or with other heroes. Original, original inspiration, Keen Midas of Greek mythology. The next character I'm going to introduce is a very unique member of the Alpha Gods that also involves a very unique twist. So here's the character, and bear with me. Wars. Real name, inapplicable. Height, 7 feet 8 inches to vast. Weight, 324 pounds to vast. Status, anti-hero and goddess of warfare. Base, Ascalympius, mobile. Intelligence, 5 brains and a plus. Behavior, seductive and bloodthirsty. She always enjoys the art of war. Lethality. Extremely deadly to most opponents. Weaknesses. Cosmic forces. She's easily carried away. Powers. She has immense cosmic powers, wields a vast arsenal of weapons, mass alteration, and is virtually immortal. She also has uncanny word usage. Eyes, vivid blue, hair, bright gold and wavy. Origin. One time, the Priantrum Nonsicolus granted the warlike conqueror with a daughter of her own. And when the baby was born, the conqueror decided to name her child Wars. By adulthood, Wars was transported by the evil wrath to the first months of the cosmos, along with having partial amnesia and later creating the very aspect of war. Eventually, Wars became the ally and lover of Leo, the infamous Nemean Lion, and she conceived a daughter of her own. Due to her remaining memories, Wars decided to name her daughter Connie, after her mother. After many years of training her daughter, Wars was recovered back to the present day, where she gained back her memories and reunited with the Conqueror. 
God has then revealed an unexpected time paradox. The conqueror and wars are both mothers and daughters to each other. Since then, wars will do the all that's needed to honor both her destined status and her mother-daughter. Costume? She's dressed in a variety of armors. Teams? Solitary, with the Conqueror, and others. Original inspiration? Amazons and Valkyries. This next character is rather the evil counterpart of wars. So I hope you understand. Here it is. Warfare. Real name, inapplicable. Height, 6 feet 8 inches to vast. Weight, 296 pounds to vast. Status, anti-hero. Wool, and goddess of warfare. Base, untrusted dimension, mobile. Intelligence, 5 brains in a plus. Behavior. Moody, savage, and utterly destructive. She always enjoys her job. Lethality. Only when angered or during a fight. Weaknesses. Being teased. She's easily carried away. Powers. She possesses the same powers as wars. She can also wield different forms of deadly weapons whenever needed. Eyes. Deep red. Hair. Vivid gold and wavy. Origin. In the untrusted dimension... The native wars is rather a chaotic version of the goddess known as Warfare. One day, Warfare learned about her innocent counterpart and decided to travel to her side of Ascalympius in order to destroy her. Luckily, Warfare was defeated when Wars got help from the rest of the Alpha Gods, banishing Warfare back to her home reality. Since then, Warfare will do all that she can to destroy her nemesis, no matter what risks she would have to take. Costume. She wears similar clothes to wars. Teams, solitary, with the Omega Gods and others. Order and inspiration, wars. This last one is a creature rather than a character. So I hope you guys are tagging along and such. X apes. Real name, none. Height, 5 feet 6 inches to 20 feet. Weight, 375 pounds to 2.5 tons. Status, villain, and creations of voodoo. Base, default earth, mobile. Intelligence, two brains. Behavior, moody, savage, and relentless. They will always serve their master. Lethality. Only when angered, or only when angered, or during a fight. Weaknesses: salt, missing limbs, and low IQ. Powers: they possess all zombie and gorilla-based powers. They also have strong healing factors and tend to travel in large groups. Eyes: brownish black. Hair: dark gray, scuff, scruffy, and partially covered. Origin. After learning about the otherworldly simians, the evil witch doctor, Voodoo, decided to create an army of relentless zombie gorillas. After creating the new army, Voodoo called them the X-Apes and commanded them to travel to New York City in order to destroy Blader Tech Tower, the home and workplace of the heroic Madame Shear. Fortunately, an arriving Dentrini and Ignitia came to help Madame Shear in stopping the horde of X apes, saving Blader Tech Tower in the process. Outraged of this, Voodoo resurrected the X apes for future use. Costume? None. Teams? Solitary? For Voodoo and other villains. Origin inspiration? Zombies and gorillas. Well, um. Uh, just so you know, the simians are basically uh, intelligent apes that live on their own home planet, you know, which is, you know, fluent in its own right. And uh, I hope you guys have a fine Halloween and such, and if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, and comment down below. It's your choice. You don't have to. 
And as of right now, from what I've checked, I have around 2.3k views. So over 2,300 last I checked at least. And I still have 11 views from the United Kingdom. So everyone in the United Kingdom, thank you. And um, I hope you guys have a fine rest of the month and such. And you could uh, do your own things with this podcast and my blog as well if you want. It's all on you. So I hope you guys have a fine time. And until next time, and transmission.